Right here. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Hi, I'm Neil, and this is Sam, and we are Team India House Chain. So the, the problem that we're trying to solve is that currently there's no de facto way of verifying home ownership in India. And uh, on a personal note, uh, the inspiration for this project was that my grandparents were actually scammed out of a house or a piece of land in the 90s. Uh, by someone who didn't own it. And uh, the, the main reason is that there, there's a long, cumbersome process required to, to verify with a centralized authority. You have to go in, pay, pay a fee, and I guess they, they took his word for it. And um, there are a lot of other cases other than just buying a home, maybe if you're sending someone a, a package uh, where you'd want to verify an address. So why, why are we using the blockchain? There's no middleman required, obviously, uh, which could really speed up the registration process, not needing that centralized entity, which would be the government of India. And uh, our, our process that you're going to see soon takes only a few minutes. Um, we, uh, we don't need to rely on those governments that can potentially um, uh, just change data on the back end. As you'll see later, we, we're not a fully decentralized um, solution just because home ownership is inherently a governmental-based idea because they're the ones who have the true record. But uh, not, it's very much decentralized. Also reduced costs and immutability. So now um, we're going to go through a demo. Great. So we're going to go through a live demo where we'll be stepping through the process of logging in through the U-Port, registering and verifying your home address, as well as contesting the existing registered home address. And so for those who don't know, U-Port is an open identity system that allows users to register their own identity on Ethereum and uh, allow you to send credentials as well as sign transactions. Since it ports its own version of Web3, we will not be signing any transactions with MetaMask. And so we'll be logging in the app. All you need to do is scan the QR code with the, the Uport mobile app. I just did that. And so unfortunately, we are not able to screen share uh, the mobile app, but um, we are, uh, you'll kind of have to trust us that it's signing the transaction. So you'll see that we just basically requested the credentials from our Uport accounts, and now, Suppose that you just bought a new house and you wanted to we want to buy a new house at Semex Auditorium and want to register a new home. Uh, we make this as easy as searching up the address and providing a proof of address, which will most likely be your house deed. And so we just have a, um, a sample PDF, and all you need to do is once you click register, a notification uh, will be sent to sign the transaction through Uport. And so let's just wait, let's approve it. And while this is happening, and as and the status will update, we'll talk about uh, some of our future plans. So we'd love to continue this uh, in the next few months uh, on the side. And as you can probably imagine, we're gonna need a lot of help from the Indian, <coughs> Indian government. This isn't inherently a product that can just stand alone. It would need governmental approval and uh, work. Uh, some of you may have heard of Aadhaar. It's essentially India's social security system, unique IDs per person. The reason why this is amazing is that it's going to drastically uh, eliminate the bad actor problem. Right now, I could pretend like I'm John Smith, log into the app, and um, pretend like I'm someone else. Uh, whereas with Aadhaar, you need your social security number like, uh, like number that uh, can only be a one-to-one -one mapping with a real person. And... Um, We'd love to, to hit traction with them. We're going to have to send out a lot of emails and see where that goes. Right. So uh, our transaction has been uh, complete. And now, suppose your address wasn't Semex Auditorium, but it was actually Hoover Tower. And so it's very easy to just uh, verify uh, if a home has been registered. And we find that it's actually been registered by another user. And we've, if we find this information to be incorrect, we can easily contest. And so we just have a simple contest form, and ideally, um, you'll be able to upload your own uh, true house deed. And we felt that this part would be best uh, centralized. So it would have to go through a centralized authority, such as the, the government in India. However, in the future, we can see how this process can be decentralized through some voting system once the network uh, has large enough uh, users. And so that's India House Chain, uh, home registry on the blockchain. Thank you. Thank you.